Hey everyone, it's Dale, and now I'm going to show you how to create a slideshow inside of a WordPress page. Uh, first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need photos to upload to that slideshow. So I've already gone ahead and uh, grabbed a bunch of the photos that I'm going to use. Uh, I would be, again, remember the purpose of a slideshow is to tell a story, is to help uh, with your storytelling mission. So I've grabbed a bunch of photos like this that I took last weekend along the Willow City Loop. So I'm going to be telling the story of the drive through the Willow City Loop. So first thing you need to do is find your photos. Second thing, you need to upload them to WordPress. So you do so through the media tab right here. And all you'd have to do is click add new and you can either select your files or drag them all here. Now I've already done this. So if I click on library here, you're going to see um, the file names are super long because I just grabbed them off my Facebook page really quickly. Uh, but you can see I already have 12 photos here um, that I'm going to be using for my slideshow. So once you have your photos uploaded, we're going to be putting that slideshow inside one of your pages. So whichever page you pick, that's your decision. Uh, I'm just going to randomly pick this fifth page. So I've gone to the Pages tab and I now want to start editing this fifth page. So I click edit on here and now I have a blank slate with which to create content. So I could go in here and type up a little bit about, uh, you know, this past weekend, I visited the famous Willow City Loop near Fredericksburg, Texas. It's a hot spot. Hot, not hot spit, hot spot to view wildflowers, especially during blue bonnet season in Texas. Okay, you would need a couple more paragraphs, right, if this was all that page was going to be about. So don't forget to, uh, to add the proper amount of content. But now that I've at least introduced it, now I'm going to click on the Add Media button here, which is how you would add a photo. But instead of selecting just one photo, I'm going to go right here and click and click Create Gallery. Um, it's going to bring up all of your options. So uh, if you've uploaded other images for your site, which you hopefully have, uh, you'll see everything here. Um, but I want to go ahead and click the ones that I want. So I want to tell them in the order. So here is the first one, which would be the sign. Um, and then... We have these couple of shots. Then I saw this and this and this and this and this. And then uh, then I saw a bunch of cattle. And then finally it ended with the boot. So um, I go ahead and click create a new gallery. And now right here I have a couple of options. Um, I, can, I can also drag and drop the order here if I wanted those to be in a different order. Uh, so... First, I'm going to change this to just two columns, which you have a lot of options on the page. Um, this is going to affect how many pictures you have across one row. Um, so I just want two. Um, I also want the file size to be medium because I don't want to link to anything. Uh, you can choose to link to the file where people can click on it and get the bigger file. Um, you can do that, and by all means, I'm just going to click None, and then we'll come back in here and change that just so you see uh, what to do. And then also, this is where you're going to be adding your captions. So you can see I already have one for the first one. Um, this is the most uh, famous spot where tons of people get out of the car and walk on private property despite warnings to avoid doing so. Okay, so I have a couple of captions. You would need to go in through the rest of these and add your captions. So if I click insert gallery, now WordPress does the work for me and you can see the photo shows up in a two column uh, or in two columns. Um, here are my captions and you'll see all the photos continue on. So if I go ahead and click update, and now that that page is saved, if I click on view page, and yours will look different based on your theme, but now you can see I have a photo slideshow with the captions 
on here. So you would need captions for all of these. You'll notice though, once I click on these, nothing is happening. And that's because I didn't uh, tell the slide, I told the slideshow to not to do that. So if I wanna change that, I can just click anywhere within the slideshow and click on the edit button. And I can change that to attachment page or media file, uh, whichever one you choose. And let's just go down to thumbnail. So if you're gonna have people click on larger images, you could select a smaller size for the picture itself. And if I'm gonna do that, I would probably wanna up the number of columns. So let's change that to four. Let's update the gallery and go ahead and update the page. So now if I go back to view page, um, you'll see we now have four columns. These are thumbnails and you can now see I have the little icon to click on those because if you click on it, it will take you to a larger version of the picture. So you can continue to mess around with the uh, customization of your slideshow uh, through the WordPress options.